Hey folks, welcome back. I live in a town called Kilcock, which is a town about 30 minutes drive from Dublin. Actually, it's only a village, but they seem to call any place that has a population of more than a thousand people a town around these parts. The great thing about living here is that there are lots of interesting things to see and places to visit due to the age of the country. If you care to join me, I'll take you to one of those places today and tell you a little bit about its history and hopefully you'll also find it interesting. So just wait here and I'll go and get my jacket. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my going out hat on and also my rain jacket. If you come to Ireland, always have a rain jacket on you because it could start raining at any moment unexpectedly. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. The place that I'm taking you today is called Connolly's Folly. It stands just outside the grounds of Castletown Estate in Selbridge, County Kildare. Castletown Estate contains Castletown House, as seen here, which is a grand Palladian style country house built in 1722 for William Connolly, who was a speaker in the Irish House of Commons and also a very wealthy landowner. William Connolly died in 1729 and he left his estate to his wife, Catherine Connolly. During the time that Catherine was alive, Ireland suffered its first famine between 1740 and 1741. This was due to a period of extreme cold weather followed by a long period of lack of rain, which caused crops to fail and therefore food shortages. It is estimated that up to 20% of the Irish population were wiped out by this due to starvation and the breakout of diseases. Catherine Connolly, in an act of charity, decided to help out the local people by commissioning the building of an elaborate structure so that it would provide employment and therefore help people through the hard times that they were facing. The structure was designed by a renowned architect at the time called Richard Castles and has since become known as Connolly's Folly. There is no real definition of what a folly is, but it is generally taken to be that of a structure or building that serves no real purpose other than its striking or unusual design. The structure was built in 1740 and stands at 140 feet high. It consists of an obelisk and several arches that can be seen directly from Castletown House. When complete, it cost the princely sum of 400 Irish pounds, which was a large amount at the time. It is adorned with eagles and pineapples, which were a symbol of affluence as the fruit was exotic and was afforded only by the very rich. It acts as the rear entrance gatehouse to the Castletown estate. If you want to go and see Connolly's Folly, it is situated on the road L81206, aptly also named Obelisk Lane. The structure was restored in the 1960s by the Georgian Society of Ireland, as it had become into a state of disrepair in the last 300 years. Today the immediate structure remains fenced off, but you can get a good view of it from the perimeter. Thanks very much for coming along with me today, ladies and gentlemen. Please press the like button to let me know if you want to see more content like this. But for now, I'll leave you with some parting shots of Connolly's Folly. <laughs>